Okay, never mind. Nice. So tell me your last story. My what? Your last story. My last story about what? About you. About me. Um, I'm just a uh, aesthetic enthusiast. I just like everything from the outside first because I believe everything is happened from the eyes and then go through your heart, not the other way. So that's why I'm just really, um, you know, uh, really taking care about my micronutrition. It sounds boring, but and it sounds too overcomplicated myself, but no, it's because I want that thing. Yeah. That's why I need to work for it. Yeah. Lately, pretty much, I just study and um, yeah, study deeper about nutrition and this kind of thing. Oh, because uh, when I was a kid, um, like when I was a teenager, I was really fat, mm. like really, really fat. Mm. Twice from now, and um, at the time, um, like no one like you because you are different, mm. because you are so fat. Because I came from other place, and then I moved to other place that more like you know the more modern place, something like that. And you have a different accent, and you are ugly, something like that. And that's why I started to lose fat and learn magic and you know when I learn magic you do something different then people started to like you oh show me some magic and then that's why well that is the beginning why I learned magic deeply because when you are something different people just like you because people want to know more about you and then when I learned magic and I went to magic community. Well, I'm different with people, but what makes me different with other magician? So I started to learn hypnotize. And at that time, hypnotize is not really popular. That's why it's like I am one of the people who know hypnotize. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, I was different with other magician. That's why. So my point is. Um, Every time I meet people, I have to be different to them. So we have something to discuss or tell about, or you know, study about other people. Mm. It's just my nature. I just want to be like different or something else. Learn something new. That's why I mm. climb a really high mountain, something like that. Mm. Uh, I I am an atheist, but I'm a religious atheist. It's like it means I went to a lot of um, religious place and understand their religion. Mm -hmm. Not because you know, like a lot of atheists, they're mocking the believer. Mm -hmm. But different with me, mm -hmm. just want to understand them, learn about themselves, learn about what they believe in, and yeah. It sounds more peacefully for me. And uh, since 2010, I stopped. I promised to myself I stopped talking about politics and religious religion because that's what make us different. That's what divide us, especially in my country. If you have uh, any different op opinion, we will become an enemy. <laughs> That sucks. Like, um, there was a big difference when, you know, yesterday when um, Australia announced that um, <coughs> gay marriage is legal here. Mm -hmm. The big difference is all of my Australian fr friends or international friends, they're happy about it. Mm -hmm. Everyone say, yes, love wins. While my Indonesian friends, they say, no, what happened with the world? Mm -hmm. uh, the the end of the world is coming, something like that. So we can see the difference of people. They have their own belief. They have, you know, they have their own of way of thinking. It's just different. 
and we can't blame people because they have their own journey and yeah and it's so funny when you hang out with a lot of people you meet a lot of people and they have their own problem that's why um, every time I have a problem I just think like I met someone who have who had a um, bigger problem than mm. me why I need to over complicated about my problem so just take everyone just take everything easy for me yeah and yeah I believe in system uh, there is a big system in the world that we already in the part of the system we just need to do and believe in your instinct and everything will done exactly mm. like what we want mm. if it doesn't it means we were out of the system it's weird um, I was a really skeptic and skeptic man mm. but when I started learn about acting slowly I just step out from the skeptic world it just you know when you become too skeptic about anything you will feel powerful but you will lose a part of humanity but you when you believe in everything even though it's a hoax or stupid story you just live your life and experience a new thing that's the point when we were a kid right when they still believe in Santa Claus they still enjoy about it and as an adult because we know it's a fake we don't enjoy Christmas as much as kid does that's why when I show some magic that's the point we need to we want to bring some miracle for an adult this is a miracle that you see when you were a kid so we bring it back to you Ooh. just pretty much about my life it's really relaxing, yeah. My what? Really relaxing. Mm. So what, what are your plans for the future? Um, I am always scared about future, but I prepare for it. Mm. It's different with um, like other people, like my friend. They don't scare because they do not prepare about it. But it's different for each person, you know. Uh, I'm a perfectionist, so I just want to make everything perfect I already have my goals and task list what to do for the next seven years and the good thing is all of my task list in Australia I already check it one by one and it's nearly done and um, there is like there are like five more tasks and one of them is I'm doing it right now with you with you Darcy like do a lot of works in Australia do and bring the footage to my hometown and show it show it to them yeah that's why I'm happy to do it when you say oh this is a small production and I said doesn't matter this is what I want mm -hmm. to get involved in Australian movie maker like you because you know sometimes you can't just buy an experience mm -hmm. yeah even though when you meet new people when you just talk with them it's an experience to me like uh when i met you the way how you explain about the nature the way you talk about the trees the animal it's different because uh for me it's for me it's like um you present the nature the way you talk about it the way you show me the sounds of water mm -hmm. the way you show me the lizard and everything mm -hmm. i don't know if you feel like that but what i feel is about you is something like that mm -hmm. but future yes oh uh, but for the future we can't fear 
we don't need to fear about it because fear is just an illusion is something happening in the future and it's not happened yet but why we need to scare about it what do we need to scare or what do we need to think it's right now what happened right now we don't need to too nervous about too scared about future it's a long way when you when we are focused about this day today it means we are preparing for the future that's why I believe yeah Australia just changed me in many ways before I was uh, really what it's called uh, you know sanguine people sanguine what kind of people sanguine sanguine is like um this type of people are like really dominant extrovert oh, yeah. like um really powerful never cry or never sad something mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. people who just want to show their power mm -hmm. but when i when i started to learn acting i just started to learn about humanity about how to find yourself about how to feel emotion again mm -hmm. and allow you to cry i never cry mm -hmm. but since i was in australia just cry whenever you want mm -hmm. and it just feels really relaxing when you first time you cry because i live like five five years with like a lot of powers like i never cry i'm a really because it's like I came from a man cave, you know, mm -hmm. like all of your mates are Damn, why are you sad about this? Come on, you're a big guy. Something like that. Yeah. I'm totally changed here. And I never thought this much about myself until you asking me. <laughs> because, yeah, what I normally did is I did the same thing like you. I just like to ask people tell me about yourself because everyone everyone like to tell to talk to talk about themselves mm -hmm. and when I ask for you oh your turn tell me about yourself and I ask for you twice and you didn't so I'm starting to okay I will talk about myself and probably later probably uh, the end of the day or on Monday you will start to talk about yourself mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. I you didn't send me the link for the, your video. No. But I took a look of your YouTube, but just a glimpse, you know. And I didn't really watch it, but I just, you know, scroll around and uh look at some of the video and yeah. I can see that you have your own vision of your video and your mm -hmm. of your filming and that's nice you have your own concept like not copying other but yeah that's why i'm so keen with when the production is done for mm -hmm. the when you end with the editing and everything should be good any uh, final words last, any last words any before? last words oh. Just enjoy the rest of your day. It's a beautiful, beautiful day, okay? Yeah.